In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a custom header in Divi using the Theme Builder. But before I jump into the step-by-step -step process, let's take a sneak peek at the final result. This is the header we are going to create. It features a top bar with three columns, social media icons on the left, a tagline in the middle, and some text links on the right. Below the top bar, you'll find our logo on the left, the menu in the middle, and a call to action button on the right. In Divi, we don't have many customization options for the drop down and mobile menus out of the box. That's why we're going to use some CSS to style these menus in a much better way. By default, the drop down menu looks like this. As you can see, it's quite basic and not very visually appealing. So, we're going to use some CSS to transform it into something much nicer. We'll make the font size a bit smaller, adjust the spacing for each menu item, and add a line between each item for better separation. Next, let's talk about the mobile menu. By default, it looks like this. All the menu items are expanded, which can look messy, especially if you have many items. To improve this, we're going to create a collapsing mobile menu. When you click on a parent menu item, it will expand to reveal the sub-menu items, making the mobile navigation much cleaner and more user-friendly. Now let's get started. Go to Divi and then choose the Theme Builder. From here, click on Add Global Header. Then click on Build Global Header. By default, there should be an empty section. If not, you can add a new section. Open this section and go to the Design tab. Under Spacing, set the top and bottom padding to 0 pixels. Go to the Advanced tab and under CSS Class, place the Class Custom Header. Now we are going to add a new row inside this section. Add a new row for this section and choose the 1 quarter, 1 half, 1 quarter layout. Open the settings for this row and under background set a background color. Go to the design tab. Under sizing, enable use custom gutter width and set it to zero. Set the width and max width to 100%. Under spacing, set the top and bottom padding to 5 pixels, and set the left and right padding to 25 pixels. Head over to the Advanced tab, and under CSS Class Place Custom Top Row. In the first column, we are going to place a Social Media Follow module. From the Content tab, you can add your social media networks. Open each social media network and set the background color to transparent. Go back to the social media module settings and switch to the design tab. Under the alignment tab, switch to tablet view and set this to center. Do the same for the mobile tab. Under the Icon tab, enable Use Custom Icon Size and set the icon size to 13 pixels. Go to the Advanced tab and place the class Custom Social. Place a text module in the middle column. In the body field, you can place your text. Go to the Design tab. Under Text, set the text font style to uppercase, the text color to white, and the text alignment to center. 
place a text module in the right column. In the body field, add your text links. To create a vertical line between the menu items, shift plus backslash. Highlight each text link and click on the link icon to create a text link. Go to the Design tab. Under Text, set the text color to white and the text alignment to right. Switch to Tablet and set the alignment to center. Then, switch to Mobile and set this to center as well. Switch to the Link tab and set the link color to white. Add another row for this section and choose the 1 quarter one half, one quarter layout. Set the background of this row to white. Go to the Design tab. Under Sizing, set the width and max width to 100%. Under Spacing, set the top and bottom padding to 15 pixels, and set the left and right padding to 25 pixels. Under Box Shadow, select the third option, and set the transparency a bit lower to 0.1. Head over to the Advanced tab and under CSS Class Place Custom Menu Row. Under Visibility, check Disable on Phone and Tablet. This row will only be visible for Desktop. For Tablet and Mobile devices, we will create another row later. Under Scroll Effects, set the Sticky Position to Stick to Top. For Tablet and Mobile, I set this to Do Not Stick. Place an Image Module in the first column of the second row. Place your logo in the Image field. Open the Link tab and place forward slash in the Link field. This will redirect the logo to your home page. Place a Menu module in the middle column. Under Menu, assign your menu. Go to the Design tab. Under Style, choose Centered. Under the Menu Text tab, set the Active and Menu Text color to black, the font weight to semi bold, and the font size to 18px. Under the drop down tab, choose a dark red line color. Go to the Advanced tab and under CSS Class Place Custom Menu. Place a button module in the right column. Under Button, place a name for your button. Go to the Design tab. Under Alignment, choose Right. Under the Button tab, enable Use Custom Styles for Button. Set the font size to 16 pixels. The button text color to white, the background color to dark red, the border width to 0 pixels, the button font weight to semi-bold, the button font style to uppercase, and disable the Show Button icon. Under Spacing, set the top and bottom padding to 8 pixels, and the left and right padding to 20 pixels. Create one more row for tablet and mobile devices. Choose the One Column Structure. Go to the Design tab and under Sizing, set the Width and Max Width to 100%. Under Spacing, set the top and bottom padding to 15 pixels, and the left and right padding also to 15 pixels. Go to the Advanced tab and under Visibility, check Desktop. Place a Menu module in this row. Under Menu, assign your menu. Under Logo, set your logo. 
go to the Design tab. Under the Menu Text tab, set the Active and Menu Text color to black and set the font size to 16px. Under the drop down tab, choose a dark blue line color. Under icons, set a dark blue color for the hamburger menu and set the hamburger icon size to 40 pixels. Under spacing, set the bottom margin to 15 pixels. Duplicate the button we created earlier and drag it under the menu. Change the alignment for this button to center. Then, go to the Advanced tab and under CSS class, place Button Mobile. Save your header. Now that we have created the header, we only have to add the CSS and jQuery code. For this, head over to my website. You can find the link in the description. This is the same tutorial but in blog form. Go to step 14. Copy all of the CSS code. Now go back to Divi, Theme Options, and scroll down to the CSS field and paste this code in it. Click on Save Changes. Go back to my website and copy the jQuery code. Go back to Theme Options and go to the Integration tab. In the Add Code to the head of your blog part, paste this code. Click on Save Changes. If you go to the front end of your website, your header is done. You can alter the CSS code to make some customizations, which I will cover now. The border bottom is the line separation between the menu items of the drop down menu. You can change the color of that line here. You can also change the font weight and size here. And here, you can change the icon color and background color of the collapsing mobile icon. That's it for this tutorial. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a like and feel free to subscribe for more. Have a great day and see you in the next one.